audit sampling for test of accounts balance included throttle sampling and MUS. The materiality allocated to any given account balance is called trollable misstatement. Trollable misstatement means that the balance of any account fairly stated is misstated by amount less or equal trollable misstatement. Acceptable risk of incorrect acceptance. It's called ARIE, almost 5% or 10%. It means that the editor decides that the account balance not included material misstatement, but actually it included material misstatement. Calculate the initial sample size. Sample size equal population recorded times a confidence factor divided over probable mistake. Stratum sample. In this type of sample, the editor divided the population into subpopulations called stratum. Initial sample size equals the duration recorded amount times the confidence factor over or divided to global meter statement. Exercise the recorded population of account receivable consists of 40 accounts, total 207,295. The editor divided the population into three strata. The probable misstatement is equal to 15,000. The editor decides to eliminate the first stratum and audit it separately. Confidence factor is equal to what is the sample size? The solution including the following basic steps. Number one, calculate the remaining population after eliminate the first stratum. Number two, calculate the sample size by using the equation and the result. Sample size equals 16 account. Third, sample size must be distributed from two and three using the ratio of population. How the editor journalize from the sample to the population by using the following step. Step number one, calculate direct projection of misstatement, which equals line to misstatement over recorded value times population value. Number two, client misstatement equals recorded value minus audited value. Number three, the editor must compare between trollable misstatement and direct projection of misstatement and take the decision. Exercise is related to the exercise one and the concern how to generalize from the sample to the population. The editor calculates the project misstatement by using the formula client misstatement over or divided recorded value in the sample times or multiply recorded value in the stratum. Lecture 2 Exercise You are evaluating the results of non stack sample of 85 account receivable confirmation for the plaza company. Information on the sample and the population are included blue. An overstatement or understatement of more than $100,000 is considered material. You must compare between recorded value and the confirmation response to determine number one printing error, number two cut of error, number three timing difference, number four error in shape. Two. 
in answer number one account number 147 must be included in stratum 2 because its recorded value included in stratum 2 and the misstatement is equal the difference between recorded value and the confirmation response and it prefer two private errors account number 228 must be included in stratum 1 because it's the recorded value in stratum 1 Calculate the project statement for each stratum which equals sample misstatement divided sample size times population value. And then the editor must be compared between tolerable misstatement and project misstatement to accept or reject the population. This exercise consider assignment. Lecture 3 Step to calculate sample size in MUS Number 1 Determine ARIA Number 2 Population recorded value Number 3 Tolerable misstatement Number 4 Calculate the tolerable misstatement at percent of population Number 5 Estimated population misstatement Number 6. Calculate the ratio of estimated population misstatement to tolerable misstatement, which equals estimated population misstatement over or divided tolerable misstatement. Number 7. Using table 17-5 to calculate convenience factor. There are two cases in MUS. First case. When no misstatements are found in sample size, you must use the basic position, which equals sampling interval times or multiply competence factor as zero level. Case 1, no misstatement when the editor using MUS. In this exercise, the population size 1,200,000, sample size 100, no misstatements are discovered when using MUS, ARIA 5% and the confidence factor 3. Calculate the upper misstatement. The solution of this exercise, the first step. The sampling interval equal population size over or divided sample size equals 1,200,000 over or divided 100 equals 12,000. Upper misstatement in pound equals sampling interval multiply or times confidence factor equals 12,000 times 3 equals 36,000. Two, when misstatements are found using MUS. Example, consider you are the editor of FPC company and you intend to use MUS in the audit of accounts receivable. The related information where Number 1. Account receivable balance at December 31, 2014, 1,950,000. Number 2. Tolerable misstatement, 117,000. Number 3. Estimated population misstatement, 35,100. ARIA, 10%. The results of sampling and edit as reflected in the next table.
required to calculate the upper limit of my statement and decide the acceptable of the accounts receivable at the end of 2014. The solution included the following basic steps. Number one, calculate the sampling interval by using the nine steps. To generalize from the sample to the population, you must follow the basic steps. The first step, calculate the basic precision, which equals sampling interval in nine steps, multiply or times the competence factor, or no misstatement. Or another word, misstatement equals zero. You must use in table 17 best 7. Number two, calculate the percent of each misstatement. Factual misstatement is the difference between recorded amount and audit amount and the convert it to percentage. It's not applicable when it's the highest or more sampling interval. In the in the statement number two and the five, because it's more or equal the sampling interval, and then you must rank it or tank, tanking in decreasing manner from bigger to smaller. Calculating the project statement allows the for sampling and the upper misstatement department by using this table and then you must compare between upper misstatement and the trollable misstatement to accept or reject the result. In this exercise, the editor is not acceptable because trollable misstatement is less than the upper misstatement power. Audit use MUI. For four reasons. Lecture four. This lecture explains the application of IT for the audit process. How information technology improve internal control. Application control includes three basic types. Number one, input control. Number two, processing controls. Number three, output control. This table explains the type of control which includes general controls and application controls and the examples for each. Impact of IT on the audit process. There are two basic methods, auditing around the computer, number two, auditing through the computer. In the auditing around the computer, the auditor does not perform a test of computer control. He concerns only general and application control. The test data approach involves processing the editor's test data using the client's application program to calculate computer performance controls correctly process the test data. And the editor must compare between the results of test data and the results of the client. Lecture 5 The parallel simulation method is explained in the following part.
the elder community using generalized audit software and their advantage and disadvantage of this method will be explained in the following slide. 